crazy. I've learned the Corona boy mentality from my daddy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> daddy never crazy. Um, but it was always a way for him to like relate what everybody understood to me simply that I didn't end up with the corner boy. Crazy. Um, not for me not to be the corner boy, but just for me to not end up with the corner boy. <laughs> so the corner boy is basically if anybody pays attention to movies, neighborhoods, they're the ones that you see on the corner. They're the mm -hmm. ones up early, sleeping late, half of the time they don't even look that well. Or if they are, they they just spent what they made yesterday on that outfit. Corner boys are the hustlers. They are the ones that's grinding on the foot. They can only think about today. They can't think about tomorrow because their today is not necessarily prominent. When they hit that corner, they could get shot. They could get pulled by the police. So many things could go wrong that they could only focus on what's happening right now at this moment, at this second, and then the money that they make, they have to go back and pay the distributor, and then the difference is what they have. So every day, if they want to stay, you know, hot and popping, they got to hit that corner, sometimes 12, 13, 14 hours a day. And I've always asked my daddy the question, on why are they working 12, 14 hours to make chump change? I'm humbling. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know how they do it. Not saying all of them make chump change, but what I'm saying is they're grinding yeah. every day to make not a cap. Like they have a cap on the potential of money that they can make. Okay, so think about it like that. When you clock into a job, no shade on employees. I don't want y'all to take this as I'm shading employees. Every business need employees. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not even saying that it's not okay to have the corner boy mentality. I'm not saying that it's not okay to be an employee. What I'm saying is even as an employee or even as a corner boy, you should be trying or focusing or figuring out how your next generation can be the distributor. Okay. So the distributor is where the corner boy goes to get his product. He's the one that get that bulk. He has no cap on the amount of money that he can make. The only cap he has on the amount of people that he may have working because he don't have enough product to give those corner boys. But he has no cap. Is no is he has no everything is, is available for him. Freedom, potential, everything. Another disclaimer. I'm not trying to teach y'all to go sell drugs. I was that just about to say that. <laughs> I, I caught it. I caught that. I'm not saying to get drugs. I'm using the corner boy distributor mentality for a reason because that's a lot of our community connects with and that's what they can see and that's what they can understand. So in how my dad made it, he was like, you don't want a man or a person or an individual in your life that's only thinking about this moment. Only thinking about today not thinking about tomorrow, not thinking about the future, not thinking about the potential of what they can have. You want that distributor. You want the distributors in your life that's always thinking, how can we get the next? What's the next stream of income we can have? What's the next possibility we can have? What's the freedoms that we can have? Where do we want to go? Where do we want to fly? What do we want to do? Correct. That's what you want. And I'm not saying your distributor people have to be millionaires because I have plenty of distributors in my circle that aren't millionaires, but we're all thriving to be a millionaire. We're all doing the work that's necessary to be millionaires. We ain't thinking about today. If I think about today, something wrong with me. <laughs> my husband get on me all the time. He'd be like, can we just deal with what's happening right now? And I'm like, no, because we got 10, 10 different things over here that needs to be done. And he's always like, your mind, your mind going a million miles per hour. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm trying to break generational things that, you know, didn't come down before me. My mama did her part. Now it's time for me to do my part. And my kid is going to have to do their part. But if I'm only thinking about today, how am I going to make the next generation better? Or how am I going to even make my own life better? Like, let, let's just make it clear. So corner boy mentality is a person that wake up every day and all they can think about is what's in front of them. That ain't life. 
Mm-hmm. That ain't life because now you have no goals. You have nothing to touch or to to acknowledge that you're out of your comfort zone. Kona mm-hmm. boys are in their comfort zone. They know they wake up at this time. They know they're going to possibly make this amount of money. They go to bed. Then they got that in their head. That's comfort. Corner boy is a comfort zone. It's your comfort zone. Because you're comfortable with waking up every day doing the same thing and going back home. The distribution person, they ain't never comfortable. Because I'm they're steady trying to think, how can I get more? How can I get more? How can I get more? And I'm not saying again to just be one of the people that you're running over people trying to get more. What I'm saying is have the mentality to get more and more knowledge, more education, more more whatever to get you to that goal that you want to end up at. That's the corner boy mentality. That's a good analogy. It's, a, it's broken down simple. They understood yeah. it. She didn't tell y'all to go sell no drugs, but she just gave y'all that example the, of the mentality. Yeah. yeah. Please don't don't anybody under 18 don't be like modest lady explain how to sell that's not what i said i did mm. not tell you how to she sell. told you the mentality it's just like she if you that <laughs> i don't want you to have but yeah. i want you to have the the distribution knowledge that whatever you put your mind to whatever you put your hand to whatever you put your grind to whatever you put on paper you can make it happen Exactly. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think distribution and not addition. Well, multiplication, not addition. Yeah. 